Nasica batrachis cyadrensis is a frog native to India, more commonly known as the Indian purple frog or pignose frog. The scientific name for the purple frog, Nasica batrachis cyadrensis, derives from the Sanskrit word Nasika, meaning nose, the Greek word batrachis, meaning frog, and Sayadri, which is the local name of the western Ghat mountain range where it is found. They belong to a subfamily of the Subusidae, their closest relatives. They were a group of frogs who lived with the dinosaurs for about 70 million years before breaking off into two evolutionary paths, one of which being the purple frog. These frogs usually grow to be between 5.3 and 9 centimeters long, with the males being up to three times shorter. They spend most of their adult lives buried underground and only emerge to the surface every year for about one to two weeks during the monsoon season in order to attract a mate. This video shows a male purple frog who has come to the surface during monsoon season to attract a mate. Although they usually call from just below the surface, this male is demonstrating his mating call above ground. This male is also calling in hopes of attracting a mate. Because the females are so much bigger than the males, the male has to temporarily glue himself to her back during mating with sticky skin secretions. The eggs are then laid in ponds, usually close to streams. As tadpoles, they develop a large suckered mouth in order to cling to rocks in fast moving streams. This means that their skeleton has to undergo dramatic changes in order to change from a clinging tadpole to a burrowing adult. Because of this, they retain their suckered mouth until their legs are fully developed. They burrow by using wart-like structures on their hind feet to kick the dirt over their back. Their primary source of food is termites, but they sometimes eat ants and worms. They use their fluted tongue to suck up their prey after they break into termite niches with their pointed snout. They also often live near termite mounds themselves, as they provide a constant source of food and fertile soil. They are endangered because 90% of their natural habitat has been destroyed and converted into coffee plantations and other farming land. Since their discovery in 2003, only 153 individuals have been observed, and of these, only three were female. Because they weren't discovered until recently, conservation efforts have only just begun. 